Hi there, my name is Chris and welcome to my sewing channel. Today we have a pattern review and it's all about the Jennifer Lauren handmade Quincy dress. Alright, so the pattern is a PDF pattern and it comes in sizes 6 to 24 with cup sizes A to D. And so I sewed a straight size 12 A cup. And this was my first time sewing a pattern using cup sizes, which I found fantastic. Um, it made for a really nice fitting garment. Um, usually I have to do an SBA, but I didn't have to do an SBA this time. And the pattern is simply amazing and I'm excited to show you the ones that I've made and just talk about the pattern. So it is a dress with four buttons at the top, a drawstring waist, and pockets that are beautifully sewn along the seams of the skirt. So it's a paneled skirt and those pockets are sewn inside those panels. And the one thing I really like about this pattern is that it has a inside yoke and it's fully enclosed. You can't see any of the seams, raw edges or surged edges or anything. It's just beautifully, be sorry, it's beautifully finished and I just love it. And the best part about it is when I first looked at the instructions, I thought it was going to be hard, but it's actually really easy. Jennifer has provided a YouTube video on showing you how to do this enclosed yoke. The dress is suitable for fabrics of lightweight woven such as rayon, voile, cotton lawn, uh, chambray, and linen. Why haven't I made a linen one yet? I have no idea. Right now I'm on a big uh, rayon kick, so hopefully I can make a linen one very soon. So let's get right to my make that I made. So as you've seen, this is the first one that I made using fabric from Minerva Crafts. So the blog post isn't live yet, so this is a still a sneak peek, but this is the one I made. And this is the one I made using the straight pattern. No alterations, no hacks, no nothing. Just straight off of the PDF pattern. I did the drawstring waist, four buttons, and it fits beautifully. Now for the second one I made. I made this one um, using a hack that my friend Michelle did uh, on a Love Notions top. So she did a hack for uh, petal sleeves. She calls them petal sleeves. Some people call them tulip sleeves. So that is my hack of the petal sleeves. So I used Michelle's tutorial from the Love Notions site. So all the links, anything, information that you need will be down below. And so this is the watermelon print. Once again, I used four buttons, and then this time, instead of doing the drawstring waist, I did an elastic waist because that's one of my favorites. I find elastic waists are way more comfortable than drawstrings, so that's actually two hacks in this one, the pedal sleeves and the elastic waist. And this dress is going to be my entry for sewing, the hashtag sewing juicy July. Um, just a little quick note about this one. I asked for two meters of fabric at my fabric store. They only had 1.7, so I had to shorten the pattern by two inches. And for my inside yoke, I had to use for my previous version. So if you are short on fabric and you have 1.7, it's still doable. It will just be shorter and just be different fabric for the yoke. Here's the third one that I made, and I did the flutter sleeve 
a hack on this one. So I will link to my previous video on how to do the flutter sleeve for the uh, Quincy dress pattern. And this one, once again, I did the elasticated waist. And that is the um, dresses that I made. Oh yeah, sorry. This one is made out of a rayon. I'm going to say it's a gauze. It has like a gauze like texture to it. Uh, this one was 100% rayon. I got such a super deal on this one and my Minerva Crafts viscose. So those are my things. And for the best part is I'm running a giveaway uh, for one PDF pattern of the Quincy dress. So I kindly asked uh, Jen if she would collaborate with me and potentially do a giveaway and she has graciously agreed to. So I'm running a giveaway from now until Sunday and it is for one PDF pattern of the Quincy dress and you have multiple multiple ways to enter. You could enter in the comments below on my YouTube channel <clears throat> telling me uh, what kind of fabric you would use for your Quincy or if there's a hack in mind that you would use on your Quincy. So leave a comment below and for more chances to win you could check out my blog or my Instagram and at the end of the contest I will combine all the entries and use a, a random number generator and I'm going to select one winner and that will be on Monday. So good luck and I'm excited to see your Quincy's.